Hello and welcome to all of you on my channel Maths with Munir. I hope you all are doing great and watching my videos. So today's video is going to be very important for me and your valuable, valuable feedback really means a lot to me. And I hope up till now you can see that why it is so. I am filming this video for the very first time with my new equipment and I am hoping that this might can help you a little more. If you look at the first ever video on my channel that I made and up till now you will be seeing a growth gradually. I tried my best to bought some good tools and good equip equipment so that whoever watching my videos from all over the world may not have any difficulty in math since we all know that how people are scary of math. So being a math teacher my mission is to help them all those students who are really struggling a lot. And I am so I am so thankful to all of you that you guys are keep supporting me and you guys are giving me your valuable feedback through comments, through Instagram messages and through my emails as well. This is a testing video that I am going to make and solving a word problem since I thought that it would be a little easy for me if somewhere I can check this these tools how helpful the, uh, it is. So in the future I will be starting a topic integration and let's see whether I'm going to carry on with this with this tool or I'm going to go with the traditional way with the traditional way the way I was uploading videos on my channel so let's read the word problem it says a moon cake with two egg yolk cost two dollar more than a moon cake with one egg yolk the cost of six moon cake with two egg yolk and five moon cake with one egg yolk is 130.80 so find the cost of a moon cake with two egg yolk. So let me give you a quick overview of this question what actually it says. So we are going to make two types of moon cake right. So let's assume that we are making two not assume that actually we are making two moon cake. So in one moon cake what we are what we are doing now we are putting one egg yolk and the other in other moon cake we are putting two egg yolk. And according to the condition it says and if we if we try to go logically of course uh, if you are putting some more ingredients in a moon cake it's going to uh, it's going to uh, give your client more cost as comparative to the other one so let's begin with the solution how we are going to do that since a moon cake with one egg yolk is cheaper than the other so we will be assuming that oh uh, I have to erase it and let me try to set a pen nib okay now this is much better I hope it will work now I know that my handwriting sucks so please pardon me for that let's see how I am going to go with with these new tools so let us assume that a moon cake with one egg yolk cost x dollar so a moon cake with two egg yolk will be obviously two dollar more than that so a moon cake a moon cake with two egg yolk is cost two dollar more than that so it means x plus two now let's read the question what it says again a moon cake with two egg yolk cost two dollar more than a moon cake with one egg yolk and we, we did what it says now it's saying that the cost of six moon cake with two egg yolk and five moon cake with one egg yolk is 130.80 dollar so let's suppose that i am buying these two moon cake from a from a bakery shop so it means that together i have to pick 130.80 dollars so i can write over here that according to condition six times x plus two why six times x plus two because it says the cost of six moon cake with two egg yolk and we know that the price of one moon cake with two egg yolk is x plus two so that's why i'm multiplying it with six plus five times x is the price of five moon cake with one egg yolk together i have to pay 130.80 dollar okay now we all know that it's a simple linear equation and we just have to 
solves this linear equation in order to get the value of x and let's see what we are getting so if you solve this equation it would be 6x plus 12 plus 5x equals to 130.80 okay so in order to get the value of x i have to add the similar term 6x plus 5x would be 11x plus 12 would be equals to 130.80 okay so i have to go more down in order to complete the solution so 11x is equals to 130.8.80 minus 12 and that would be 11x equals to uh, once you subtract that it would be 118.80 okay so i am doing the rest of the solution over here although i do have space x equals to 118.80 over 11 now let's divide it okay 11 times 1 is 11 and 11 times 10 is going to give you 110 then points 8 will go here makes 88 so 11 times 8 is 88 okay so x is basically 10.8 dollar that's what we got so if you look at the reason why i saw this over here so if you look at a moon cake with one egg yolk is x dollar it means that this is the price for a moon cake with one egg yolk so basically do not forget that you know sometimes most of the student feels that whenever we get the value of x it means that we are done with the question no once you are once you get the value of whatever variable involved in the question you have to read the word problem again and then you have to look at the solution that whatever you found was it really asked in the question or, or there is something else that you need to do so the question says find the cost of a moon cake with two egg yolk so it means that we are not done yet so basically this is what we have to find it out so you have the value of x just plug in and it will be x plus 2 so it means that that is going to give you 12.8 dollar so this is basically your answer the price of a moon cake with two egg yolk so i am hopeful that this video was helpful for you like my other video so please let me know in the comment that how helpful these videos are and how did uh, how much greatly i did with my new equipment so if you really like it then i might consider the option of making videos from like uh, making videos like this or else i have to go back with the pre with my previous method the way i was making video although to be very honestly if you ask my if you ask my choice i would really go the way i was making videos earlier because it's a little hard for me in write it on this pad although uh, it's quite good i mean you don't really have to get ready all the time in order to make sure that uh, i mean everything is okay so if you are new to my channel please do consider subscribing my channel and uh, let me know in comments how helpful this video is and share the link of my channel with all of you. Thank you.